Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi Note 12 Pro and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So starting off we're gonna open up settings and from here we're gonna navigate to display right over here and we have two, well a couple options I think in here. Uh, number one will be the light and dark mode, uh, not really the actual like switch but the option below that which is the schedule dark mode. Now this will allow you to have it set so it automatically switches between light and dark mode based on the time of day or if you select custom based on your specific time preference. Moving on to the next option it's going to be the uh, showing the notification icons right here these specific ones right over there. Uh, now as you can see I have a couple notifications visible right here and obviously some in the uh, status bar. So I can actually hide them if I don't want them, which I personally don't. I prefer a more clean look on my device, which might not be the most like uh, best kind of choice, considering it might remove some information, but that's just really what I prefer myself. So for everybody who's interested in that, all you need to do is navigate into the control center. So right here, notifications and control center. And we're gonna select status bar and you have the uh, show notification icons. When you disable this, as you can see, it hides them. Now, it only hides the notifications, it won't hide the toggles, which you have uh, selected right here. So as an example, NF NFC is still showing up uh, because it is enabled in here. And as far as I know, there is no way to actually hide those. Now moving on to the next option, which is also under the notification and control center, it's going to be the uh, style as they call it. So at one point you probably realized that uh, your notifications and your toggles got separated so you swipe from right side to access your toggles and from the left side you have your notifications. Now I personally despise this. So if you want to get back the typical old one when you have both notifications and toggles in the same place, you can do so from here by navigating into the, and there we go, control center style and select old version. And now you swipe down from any point, any side, and it will always give you the same thing, which is toggles and notifications together, which, like I said, this is what I prefer. It's a little bit, in my opinion, better. Now moving on to the next one, it's the system navigation. I've been using buttons for this video, uh, but I do personally prefer uh, the gesture navigation. So if you want to enable those, simply navigate to additional settings. From here, we're looking for, I guess we're, it's gonna be full screen display the blue text at the bottom right here and you have gestures as an option right here. Now when I'm enabling them it asks me if I want to learn them. I don't, I already know how to use them but if you, you have never used them before I do highly recommend to go through the guide. Now there is another option right here uh, associated with the gestures which is hide full screen indicator Not now, which simply just removes this bar from the bottom can see otherwise it's visible if you turn that on it hides it and gives you a significantly cleaner look to your device as you can obviously see uh, the gestures will work exactly as they did before it just won't show you that bar at the bottom so you swipe up and hold to go to recent swipe up quickly to basically go home and swipe from either side as you can see to go back so there we go and moving on to the last thing, it's the sidebar, which just gives a little bit more versatility. It's kind of like a copy to what Samsung has on their devices. So to enable that, we're gonna navigate into our settings and then additional settings. Then we're gonna select floating windows right here and sidebar. You can toggle it on from here and it adds this bar you can swipe up on it and it gives you a bunch of applications in here. Well, those are, it's a lot of apps here. You can add more or customize it. Oops. So 
can add applications into here. For some reason, it's only showing one app, which is a little bit odd. It could be that it's right now just showing um, used apps or like recently used apps, so that's why. But when you add them, I expect that it's gonna replace them. So there we go. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.